The light was still right what there. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Drazy. The light was still right there. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Mo. Simone. And I am here with Tiger. How are you today? I'm good. How you doing? Nice to see you. Again. 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 <laughs> yeah. How you feeling though? I'm doing great. Yeah. I'm doing great. How's your hand? <laughs> How's your hand doing? Cause you know I got, I'm concerned. Cause okay, so let's just talk about it. Um, yeah. Uh, we met and you was, were like, hey, you be in my music video. Yeah. And I was like, sure. You know what I mean? So um, the very first time we met, we were on set for yeah. your music video. Mm-hmm. The wind was blowing so. And we were like on the rooftop. We were actually doing, you were actually doing a selfie video. We were doing a selfie. I was taking a a selfie video with you. And Uh literally out of nowhere, the wind blew the light light. down. The light just fell. It just fell. And I kind of got it at the end of the video I took. Oh, Um, yeah? Yes. (laughs) Um, And the wind just blew the light down. And... I had a champagne glass in my hand. Yeah, that's why right. today I made sure we ain't got no champagne glasses. <laughs> he bought plastic glasses for us today. <laughs> today is a plastic one, but ain't trying to glass, get no cap. I gotta stay away from. But yeah. um, and so it, it knocked the champagne glass out of my hand. Right on your right hand. And I'm like, we didn't notice at first, but I looked yeah. down and like I'm gushing blood. Blood start coming out. I, I was know like, it. what is happening? And so I had two deep cuts. Well. One cut on like the palm of my hand, and then a deep cut on my finger. Yeah. And it was just gushing; it would not stop bleeding. You were just, you were trying so hard to help me. I was trying to do my best. You felt so bad. I, I did, like, cause this is the first time anything like that ever happened. I'm really? like, and I kept telling him, I'm like, bro, we need to move this light on that side so we can shoot another you part. You said that. I did say that. For some reason, the light was still right. Was there. it him? Yeah, <laughs> Drazy, <laughs> the light was still right there. Uh-huh. And then we came outside doing the video. I, I couldn't see it because I was, the light was right on my back. I, mm-hmm. That's why, that's the thing I didn't see. Right. I didn't really see where it came from. And even the light, when it broke the glass, I, I didn't know you had a glass on. Because yes. I thought it came from the light. Right. That's well, what I thought. Honestly, I don't know because I could have gotten cut from the light. Or the glass. I don't know which one. No, it's really the glass because the, the, the glass just break. It broke. The glass did break. When yeah. The, well, see, I don't know. The, did the glass break when the light hit it or when it hit the floor? That's why. Yeah. Or the ground. So I don't I don't know. Honestly, don't know. it just happened so quick. It, it did happen so <laughs> fast. The wind blows so fast and just went. We, well, we did at least shoot our scene. Yeah, we, we did shoot one. I mean, we, shoot, we shot two scenes. We shot two scenes? Yeah, we shot two. We, we did that twice. The okay. Same, yeah, but the same spot. The same spot, We were supposed yeah. to shoot another spot. Right. That right, and right. And then right we had to cut it off. Go to the ER. I'm glad, I'm glad <laughs> you, are, you are good and your hands is nice. I'm good. I'm healed now, so. That's nice. So, <laughs> nice to see that. Um, So, you are an artist. Yeah. Your music is amazing. Thank you. Um, how long have you been doing music? So far now, I've been doing music for seven years now. Okay. Yeah, it started back 2015. Okay. My first songs I remember recording 2015. Really? Dropped the first song and the first video. Mm-hmm. And just... And from there, you were just like, this just is what I have to win. Yeah. Okay. And you are a Congo... I'm from Congo originally. I grew up in Angola. Okay. But I was born in Congo. So, okay. yeah. And so you consider yourself an African artist or American artist, or both combined, you know. Uh, some people do consider themselves like an African artist. I mean, I'm an African, so but even though I do hip-hop, I'm originally from Africa, so I guess you could say African artist. African artist. Yeah. Or African American. Well, African American, <laughs> I guess African American artist. That's who I am. I guess. Okay. Yeah, so I can go for that. All right. So, could you tell us about your background? Um, like, how was it? How was your childhood like? Like growing up in Congo. I grew up in Angola. In 
Yeah, I was born in Congo, but I grew up in Angola. Angola? Yeah. How do you say it? Angola. Angola? Angola. Angola. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, my, oh my, my childhood was crazy. Really? I grew up with, uh, with my cousins. You know, mm-hmm. we used to live in one roof. It was a lot of you. It's a, it was like seven, eight of us okay. in the wrong roof with my, with my grandma. I grew up in my grandma's house. Yeah. So my childhood was really crazy because, uh, you know, while in uh, as a young, <laughs> young guy, you know, uh-huh. going crazy. You wasn't, you wasn't listening. You was just like kind of being hard headed, doing not what you really. wanted to do. Yes, oh. I, I was a part of a group back in the days, a gang. A really. gang. Yes, <gasps> I used to be a bad boy. Like oh really, God. grew up. I used to be, uh, you know, we had a little group with my friends. You know. Just fighting with all the, mm-hmm. all the guys just to get really? a respect. Yeah, Are y'all trying to like be like bad boys, like. I mean, it was really because tough. of the, just be growing up young and dumb, just really right, right. fighting over respect and uh, earning our uh, our territory. Really, right, right. So we used to just go crazy, just crazy, <laughs> walling out. We used to wild out. Just uh, do you regret any of the things you've done in the past, or I do regret be a part of the gang and uh, smoking, drinking. But you don't think it kind of has something to do with who you are now? Because I feel like, you know, everything happens for a reason. Maybe you were supposed to do those things. I mean, everything happens for you a are reason. Now. Of yeah. course, the decisions are not good decisions. Yes. But, you know, everything does happen for a reason. So. Everything do happen for a reason. Uh, yeah. But I, I regret it because now the majority of my friends that I grew up with that we were gang banging, mm-hmm. being on a gang together, the majority of them are dead. So I do regret oh, that lifestyle. Yeah. I would not, I would not wanna, you know, we re- leave that lifestyle. But you, you're not, you got out. Yeah, so, I'm sure. Tr- I'm know. definitely glad I was able to get out that place, get out from Angola and right. come to the states. So that was so a do good you, one. Do you remember the first time you were like? bit by the music bug that's like I want to do music you know I want to be in the music industry how did that happen uh, really growing up in Angola really I used to already dress like artists I mm-hmm. used to dress like American artists so people really would make me or like trying to speak but every time they see me you dress like a rapper so <laughs> let me hear you say let me hear you speak some <laughs> but, not, but really the music passion was in me back home but it was just for like freestyling or either doing uh, uh, rap battles. Mm-hmm. I really never took it serious, like trying to record a song, start writing songs and record. Right. The music really hit me when I came here in America, mm-hmm. like in 2015, when I met with uh, my partner, DJ LJ. Okay. When we met, when we first met, where he was living, we had a little set and we were just playing around with the beat because he produced. He produce, he make beats, he edit it, he okay. do video, he do it all. He's okay. like, he's a music genius. Oh, okay. God bless him with a, a lot of talent. Really? Yeah. Okay. So we were just chilling one night and he was just messing around with the beats and he came out with a beat. Mm-hmm. And then while we were chilling right there, I just started rapping. Start I'm, rapping like, I'm like, yeah. I'm on TV now. That was my first <laughs> song. I'm on TV now. You can see me, boy. I'm on TV now. Hey. We're getting money, boy. Uh. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and keep doing make this. a song yeah. about it. Because back in the day, it was hard for me to make a song, come up with the verse in English. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I just newly from America, I came to America, newly in America. So I wasn't really speaking English like that. Oh, so I, I had to get that song. I wrote the verse in English, the first verse. And the second verse, I wrote in Portuguese. So I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to mix it up. I'm a fluent in Portuguese, so that was my Can first thing. Can you sing the song in the other language? I did. I can't remember Can the verse in Portuguese, though. Uh, <laughs> I think sing I... Sing the little hook you just sung. Can you sing it in the other language? It won't match. It, it won't <laughs> match, really. It won't match. That's that's the reason why I also... LJ was like, you know what, bro? You in, We in America. So you can just go ahead and try to put the whole song in, in English instead of doing it in Portuguese. Because, you know, you can have all the songs in Portuguese, but the first songs, I think it would be better for you to just sing the whole song in English. Uh-huh. And then once we start making the whole music, then you can start making, like, mix it up English and Portuguese. Can you, you can be international. 
Meu sonho é ser primeiro, primeiro nome na lista Meu sonho é ser figura de capa de uma revista Meu sonho é ser o que sou, mas com gordo e cumbu Para ter a minha cama bordeada de bumbu Ei! Ei. So, you know, I love but, it! Yeah. So, I had to make the whole song mm -hmm. in English And that was my first ever song Okay. I'm on TV. Yeah. And uh, we made that song, made a video. Drizzy was on the video, my home, my homeboy. Uh -huh. And it ended up being, um, it ended up taking off and we just started from there and we never stopped. That is so dope. Yeah. Okay, so your father is a musician. So tell us about the relationship dynamics between you and your dad. My dad, he's a music, he used to be a music teacher. Uh -huh. My dad, he used to be a music teacher. A music teacher? Yeah. Okay. He played all the instruments. Really? Piano, so guitar, violin. Yeah. Yes. He used to be a music teacher. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's that's where I got the music background from, from him, really. So, and then he just, he just took it from there. Okay. Yeah, he really never really pursued that music. He just used to teach. He used to be in a choir. He used to be a, a, a leader in a choir. He used to teach people how to sing, how to play inst instrument. Yeah. And he used to be a teacher in university, teaching people how to play instrument, really. So. Do you think that had some type of an impact on you? Maybe definitely. To do definitely. Yeah. That's why. I guess that that's where I got it from. Yeah. I got it, it from him. As a young boy, I mean, you yeah. were watching your dad play all these instruments and... You know, like you said, he was singing too. He was singing in the choir. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so. he was singing in the choir, really, and he used to teach uh, music, really. So I guess cool. that's the that's where I got that DNA from. The music it came from me, I guess. So, how does he feel about your path in the industry? Like, what? And how's your relationship with your family in general? Like everything that you have going on. How he feel about it right now? Yeah, he he pretty good about it now. Now Be, in the beginning so, he wasn't approved of. Really? No, he was not. Like when you see our parents, my parents especially, mm -hmm. he's from Africa. So he got the African mentality. Yeah. You know when you and African parents are like, Yes. They're strict. Strict, yeah. So when I first got here, I used to already have that love for music. I'm being I used to live with my dad. I'd be in in the room. Like record, uh, trying to record my thing, just working on my song. Mm -hmm. He gonna come in is like, this is not mm -hmm. it. You can't. <laughs> and then he, he listened. He heard me rapping, mm -hmm. and you know how to rap it. For African parent, when you doing music like rap music, they already know it's about influence. Cause you know the, the rappers, they don't have no good resume when it comes yeah. to. The rapping industry right. they always think like when you're a rapper you gotta smoke weed mm -hmm. doing all that crazy yeah. stuff like get locked image. up yeah. yeah that's that that's the bad image that they give the rappers right but they don't really know you can make a whole lot of money into yeah. music it's a career it's just how you you decide to do it you can do it the, the right way you can do it the bad way right, right so so that was his concern that was his concern okay Cause you know he coming from Africa, he expected to go to school, graduate. Mm -hmm. You know, be be a good boy. Right. He, even though I did go to school, I graduated from college, mm -hmm. and then after that, then I was like, you know what? This the music is just it isn't me. I can't help it. Right. I just gotta keep pursuing. There was nothing else that you felt that you could be doing besides beside the music, music really you entertaining. Knew that, that was it. I I knew that was it because I'm an entertainer. Yeah. I just knew. This is what I want to do. But I just had to prove my dad wrong. Like, I can be a rapper and not... You can follow the good things and not take all the, the bad, bad stuff. Things, yeah. Leave the bad stuff away. So I'm because not... it doesn't necessarily mean that just because... Being you're a rapper, you, industry, yeah, and you just got to do, do the crazy doing. thing. Yeah. yeah. You just got to get locked up, doing the crazy right, stuff. Right. Right, <laughs> be on drugs Drugs, and or, that's yeah. the thing. <laughs> I be in the studio with a lot of people that's smoking and drinking. Yeah. I drink, but yeah. I don't smoke. Okay. And people really look at me like, oh, you're a sober kind of rapper. You're a rapper, <laughs> you don't drink, you don't smoke. I drink, I mean, but drink, I'm not right? a heavy drinker. <laughs> yeah. But I don't smoke. I, I stopped smoking back, back, back home, back in Angola. Is there a reason why you I mean, that? really, it's not my thing. It really right. just didn't sit right with it's me. It's not for everybody. No, it didn't really sit right with me. Even when I used to be in the street running around with mm -hmm. my, my homeboys, we used to smoke, get high. I got high twice, like, real bad. <laughs> I was like, 
This is not no. me. Because when I was high, mm-hmm. it only happened two times when I really got high, high. We smoked and I really got high. Mm-hmm. And I was, I was just like... I was just like a stupid guy. Okay, like, yeah. Like, I was like just like feeling. looking crazy. Right. So I was like, you know what? Nah, this ain't for it's me. Not for you. So I decided smoking and ain't for me. It's not for everybody, but nope. nowadays everybody smokes, so they kind of look at you like, yeah. you don't smoke? No, yeah. I don't. <laughs> I've been in a studio with a lot of people smoking, like, they passed the blunt. I was like, bro, I don't no, smoke. I'm good. <laughs> I, they were like, bro, you a rapper and you don't smoke? I'm like, no, bro, I do not. And it's sad that you have to smoke just because you're just a, to rapper. Be a rapper. Like, no. That's weird to me. And then people be, they be uh, surprised when, I, when I'm in stage, when I hit uh-huh. the stage, when I'm performing, they be surprised. Like, bro, where you get that energy from? <laughs> like, did you smoke? Did you drink? I'm like, no, man. The music is my drug. Right. Once it's you your, drop it's my a music, high for you because yep. that's what you, that's your passion. I, that's what you really no, my no, my I'm just hype type of guy. Right. But I'm a Gemini, so you know I got two oh, sides. I got two sides <laughs> of me. You know, I got that calm, collective, yeah. and I got that hype side when the music hit. It's on. I like Gemini's. Y'all yeah. cool. You know, I have my it's brother on. is a Gemini. I think y'all are really chill, like laid back type of people. That's y'all the type really of people don't bother anybody unless somebody really piss y'all off. But y'all can have a little attitudes and stuff sometimes. You know? <laughs> Just a little bit. Sometimes, sometimes. Just a little bit. Not that much. <laughs> So how has your experience in America been? And when did you say you came here? I came in when Michael Jackson... I, I came in two days after Michael Jackson passed out, 2019. 2019? No, 2009. No, I was about to say, but... No, 2009. 2009, okay. 2009. I came here after, like, two... I think right, it was, like, a week after that Michael Jackson passed away. Wow. I remember and that. And you saying that you had to learn how to speak English... Yeah. So in 2009, you weren't speaking English. Mm, hell no. Nah. Wow. I came here, I didn't know how to speak a word in English. <laughs> I'm telling you. How long you. do you feel like it took you to learn English? Damn, I can't say. You know what? The thing about me, it took me about. I, I went. I took a. I went to school for like school? It's, it's, um, for for the English. It took me about really. I can say three to four years. Mm-hmm. Cause me, I'm the type of guy that I don't give a damn. I don't care what people think. I don't care yeah. if you're gonna make fun of me. Yeah. So I was really, I'm, I'm the type of guy. I'm an outspoken. Mm-hmm. It was really easy for me to learn because I would just speak, even though if I don't know how to say the word, I would just say <laughs> it. If you want to anyway. lie for me, you can lie. But if you want to correct me, right. you're more than right. welcome. Because some people take them longer because they they be afraid to speak. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're like, no, nah, I can't say this. They're gonna lie for me. I was the type of guy, I don't give a Say damn. <laughs> you won't laugh at me, cool, but hey, I mean, three, four years from now, you ain't going to be laughing right. at me now. Nah. Because you're learning. It's a yeah. process. So why it's would anybody process. even laugh and at I'm, you I'm anyway? Type, I'm the type of guy, I speak five different languages. You're going to laugh at me, but you speak one language, bro. Look. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we go to another country, yeah. you can't even speak. <laughs> I'll be able to communicate. Okay. And you cannot. Period. So you can't laugh at me. But it was, it was, it took me about four to five years for me to be really able to speak yeah. really, and even do even music, especially. So do you feel like America is the land of milk and honey where opportunities and dreams come true? I mean, basically from where I came from, I can say, yes, America, it is a land of So you of don't opportunity. think it's like a lot of opportunities for you where you were from? Not really. You got like in America, you can you get you be able to get a job anywhere. Mm-hmm. You can be able to work and you get paid a week in right. two weeks. Where I came from is not like that. How is it? Where I came from, people work from January first to January thirty to get paid. Really? You get you work the whole month to get paid. On top of that, you got people that work two to three months without getting paid, and oh, they're no. still going to they're still going to work. Oh man. And they, they're faithful and loyal to their job. I wonder why it's like that, though. Yeah. You can't do, do that shit in America. Do they a lot of money on that 30th day? Uh, <laughs> I like... mean, not really. Oh, no. It's not a lot of money. You got people that can work from the first to 30 mm-hmm. and still get paid like 200 or 150 oh, Or even $100 oh. a month. Well, I, I mean, is that enough for them to like make ends meet? It in is. Where it you're is kind of. Uh, it hey, it depends really on the situation. Mm-hmm. 
because back home it's not like America. You pay for everything here. Yeah. Everything costs money here. Everything. 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 Even you, the only thing that don't cost is you breathing. Like, the <laughs> sooner or later, they're going to be charging you. They're like, you breathing too much. We breathing too breathe much. You breathe too much, so they're going to they're going to bill you for right, that. Right, right, exactly. That's the only thing that you don't pay for. Anything else, it costs money. Yeah, that's true. But Africa, it's just, it's just like, it's, you got some stuff that don't really cost. It's mm, free. Okay, so the but cost of living is not it, Yeah, it's not that. Okay. But yeah. it is, in America, it really, it is a land of opportunity. The place that you can't be able to get a job and work and get paid in two weeks and a week you can be able to make money mm-hmm. but where I came from is just different it's a whole different type of game so yeah America it is a land of opportunities okay yeah so can you tell us about your relationship with DJ LJ DJ LJ DJ LJ is my brother man and we started this thing with him he mm-hmm. was the the first person that we um got into this music when we met because we both we met here in America the crazy thing about it me and him we met here and then end up being that we both grew up in Angola really? and we both speak Portuguese really that even brought us more close <laughs> that's crazy yes and top of that when we started doing music when we first went and started recording this song I'm on TV mm-hmm. I went and recorded to the studio booked the studio I record that song over there even the guy that we recorded I guess he saw something in me. He was like, man, I want to manage you. Mm. That was back in 2015. I was like, man, we're just getting started, uh-huh. man. Let, let's, let's put the music out first and see if we can need <laughs> right. a manager. And then right, you right. can come through. But yeah, he was the... Uh, that's that's my brother. That's my homie. We started this big money team together, me and him. And then he was like, what, what, what can we call this? I was just thinking about the name that we can call this thing. I was like, uh, you know what? Since we a team, right? We can just call it BMT. <laughs> like, like BMT, like what is? What's BMT? the BMT stand for? Like I'm like yo, big money team. Okay. Let's say less. Yeah. So ever since then we took off and we just started. We ran with it. That's crazy. Yeah. And y'all had not known each other. We, no, we did not know each other in Angola. Like when we came here. It's like he speak Portuguese. We both grew up in Angola. I was like, yo, he. That was he, literally like a sign yeah. right there. Like that was meant to happen. It was meant like, to be. That is crazy. And then we came together and then we, be, we kept rocking ever since then. And we never stopped. That's great. Yeah. So, who are your dream um, American artists that you want to collaborate with and why? American dream that uh, American artist that I would love to collab with would be a little um, Drake. Drake. I would love okay. to collab with Drake. Why? T.I. Why Drake? Because I love the I love the music. I love the flow. Mm-hmm. I love Drake's music. I'm a fan first okay. of all. So as a person, how he carry himself, I like. So I would definitely would love to do a song with him. Yes. And plus, you do a song with Drake, to put you on the map. Oh, for sure. We talking about Drake? 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 <laughs> you do a song with Drake, you uh, gonna, gonna put you on the map. He so, put you out there, out there. And yeah. you said, I heard you say Tip. Tip, Tip. I love Tip. You know, that's the king. And of he, Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> he's one of my favorite artists. That Have got. you met him yet or ran into him yet since being here? Uh, like even nah, just like I at an event or something like I have not run up on no. T.I. yeah yeah okay. I have not uh, and since you moved to America you came here yeah I've and been, you haven't ran into him yet I've been in Atlanta ever <laughs> since I mean I've been to Trap House one time um, I see him from far away, yeah. but I really never run into him like close to him like that. I think that. you will soon. I mean, yeah. he's he's around. Yeah, sure. he be around. <laughs> yeah, we never met. And definitely a little baby, little okay. Dirk, French Montana, mm. and DJ Kylie. Oh, okay. Definitely, because you he know DJ Kylie. definitely have a hit for you. He, oh, <laughs> he always produced hit. Definitely yeah. be the one, DJ Kylie. I would definitely love to work with DJ Kylie. Now, would you like to collaborate with anybody in Africa? Because there's some dope artists in Africa as well. Oh, definitely, man. Africa right now is taking over, really. Uh, the Afro music's taking over. You know, I do Afro music too. I got okay. Afro songs. I got a couple of Afro songs that I released. But uh, for African artists, I definitely would like to collab with uh, Davido. 
Matter of fact, yeah. he got his show tonight. He got his show tonight. He doing his show tonight. Where? He's doing his show tonight at uh, State Farm Arena. Here? Yeah, here in oh, Atlanta. Okay. Oh, you State know, Farm Arena. Yeah, yeah. He, he got a big show tonight. I did see that. Yeah. I see that. And I have opened up for him uh, 2000, uh, 2018, 2018 and 2019. Mm-hmm. I've opened up for him. You did? Yeah. Oh, before amazing. when he was coming up, when you before he became this big artist. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've opened up for him. So then you need to go ahead and manifest that because yeah, you've already came, you know. Yep, I opened up for him. I would definitely would like to do a song with Burner Boy oh, and yeah. Whiskey. Okay. Yeah. They're taking over on, on Afro music right now. They're representing Africa. So that that would be a dope collaboration if I could get a chance to collaborate any anybody from Listen, Africa. Speaking be, into existence. Yep. It's definitely gonna happen. You're a very consistent person. Definitely. You know, I you're try. always working hard on your I dreams. try to stay grinding. And you know, it's gonna pay off, you know what I mean? Because you're consistent, because yep. you're you're a good person. You have good energy. Thank you. Appreciate I that. Feel. Yeah, you know, so um, I do feel like that's going to happen for you for sure. Appreciate that. God is good. Amen. Amen. Um, So what is a vision for your brand moving forward? And what place would you like to see yourself blow? And um, why those specific places? I would love to see myself blow international. Because, you know, when you're doing the music in America, you get that bag. Mm-hmm. And you, when you go overseas, oh yeah, that's a different. You, that's level a different of, type of bag. Yeah, for sure. You see all these artists that be going overseas, they come back with the millions. Yeah. <laughs> that's where I'm trying to go. Yes. But matter of fact, I'm supposed to be uh, traveling, really trying to go promote my music. Every time I drop my project, I always go to back travel home, somewhere. Travel and, and how often promote. do you go back to Africa? Every two, two years, one year. Okay. So go every two years at least. Yeah. So, I yeah. can see that international vibe on you. That's what I, I'm I trying. I get that. I feel that. You yeah. already speak different languages. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I feel like that'll be literally like perfect for you. I'm trying to get that international bag. Period. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely would love to uh, go. I would love to see my brain. All over. All the over the place. Yeah. You know. Cause I'm trying to take it, like just like my my EP. I'm dropping an EP called "To the Top." Okay. So I'm trying to when I drop this EP, I'm trying to take it to the top. Now is that the videos that you're working on now? Is that from yes, that EP? Yes, that's from the EP okay. that I'm trying to drop. The video that you want too is one <laughs> of the, the videos. EP from that from hasn't new, come out yet. It haven't come out yet. Oh, I just okay. dropped two videos for the EP. I dropped uh, "To the Top." Uh huh. And then I drop. I just dropped last week. I dropped "Come Outside." I saw that. The video so. going crazy right now. <laughs> Come, Come outside, yo! <laughs> I dropped that video, so I'm still recording some more uh-huh. videos. I'm trying to drop the. Uh, I'm trying so to drop. So you're trying these. to do a video for every song. Or I just wish like... I could. <laughs> now I'm trying to drop at least. Five or four vi- five. five or four videos. Okay, okay. Yeah. It depends on Dreezy too. Dreezy, if you if you <laughs> gonna let me do all the <laughs> videos for the fuck, we're gonna run it out. We're gonna run it out, we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna make I'm it trying happen. to I'm trying to do more videos for the songs. But yeah. Yeah, I already said to the top video was crazy. We need now. a summertime hit from you. You know, right, summertime about, 2024. We I, need a I, tiger I, I, summertime hit. I, I'm gonna jump there. And video. And video. <laughs> I'm gonna jump there. I already told everybody to come on time. Oh, everybody man. be on time. So do you think that's gonna be the summertime hit? That gonna be because I performed that song. The first time I performed that song, I had everybody really going crazy. Okay. Saying come on time. Because the first thing I, when I, I, I when I was on stage. I said, this is my first song I'm mm-hmm. performing for this EP. I just dropped this song. So when I said Tiger, y'all say, come outside, yo. Tiger, come outside, yo. Tiger, come outside, yo. Everybody was like, come on. Everybody rock with it right now. Oh, yeah, okay. So this this okay. going to be it. Okay. This well, going to be it. Because everybody's trying to be outside. Especially summertime. Hey, yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? So it's going to be and the one. And when did you drop that? I just dropped that last week. Oh, yeah. We got some time. By the, and he's already the end. Oh yeah, yeah, it's he's already the end of the year. Yeah. So yeah, that's gonna be the one for the, the summer. Come outside. Yeah, I want everybody to drive. Everybody come outside. I don't want y'all to be inside. <laughs> so you're recently released. Um, you recently released a single to the top. Mm-hmm. Um, what inspired that song? And what's your message to the world? 
But what inspired that song is really just me saying to myself, you know, this is the time. Okay. This is the time to take this music, this my career to the next level. Mm-hmm. And when I said to the next level, I'm talking about to the top, to the top of the mountain, to the top as high as I can go. Yeah. So that's why I released that EP. I released that single called To The Top. Now, is there a message in there for everybody else? Really, the message song over there is just to whatever just you're doing, whatever you're going. crying, yeah. never give up. Right. If you have a dream, if you're working for something, that you want to accomplish, do not give up. Because mm-hmm. the only way you can make it if you don't give up, if you give up, then you ain't gonna make it. Right. Because so. when you're doing something and you're consistent with it, yeah. you have no choice but to it's make gonna it. pay off. You know what I mean? It you will can't pay stay off. in the same space if yeah. you're being consistent with something that Definitely. you're working towards or that you're passionate about. At some point, you are going to get to where you're trying to go. Definitely. You know? Because mm-hmm. I remember myself. My first single that I dropped saying I'm on TV because I was always dreaming to be on TV. Okay. And I say it on the song, I'm on TV. I dropped that song, I dropped that video. And then three years later, I saw myself, I was on national, international TV. Mm-hmm. I did an interview and I performed. So, so you I manifested dream, it. Dream come true. You, you manifested it. I and did. That's what a lot of people need to understand is when you speak things into existence and yep. you manifest, it's going to happen for it's you. It's going to happen. But you have to believe that. You got to believe. You know what I mean? I mean, you got to believe in yourself. Nobody yeah. can believe in yourself the way you believe in yourself. Exactly. You know what I'm and saying? everybody's speak. not going to understand your journey. Yep. This is for you. Yep. You know what I mean? You just got to keep pushing. You have to. And it's going to put God first. Yeah. Anything. Mm-hmm. Anything is possible. Yes, and even when people doubt you and make you feel like you can't do something, that's the time to really push it. Yeah, and those are the same people that are going to be the fan. They doubt it, and then later on, they're going to be looking at you like, damn. Damn, I should have believed in him. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's the thing, man. You just got to keep going. Don't give up. So your last full body of work was on 8-Track? Um, and what are you working on now, and when are you planning on releasing? Um, I'm planning on releasing this one on next week, next. same 25th. That's when I'm going to plan to drop the EP. And then uh, after that, just go crazy. So the EP is coming out next week. The what EP day? is going to come out on the 25th. The 25th, so 11 yeah, 25. 25. That's when I'm going to drop it out. Okay. It's going to be available on all the platforms. I'm going you know, to support that. You know, I'm definitely yeah, everybody go ahead and stream yeah. me. Y'all let me know what your favorite song on the EP. Are you on TikTok? You know? Yeah, I'm on TikTok. Put your I music really, on there. I, I mean, don't really use TikTok like that, but I'm on TikTok. I, I stay on Instagram way more and TikTok and Facebook and no, all that. No, for sure. But you know what? Um, it, certain platforms like that will actually help to get your stuff out even more. Because yeah. if somebody hears something they like, they're mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm going to make a challenge dance to this. And okay, then now okay. everybody's doing Everybody challenges doing to challenge. your song yeah. and tagging you and things like that. So, I mean, it still can happen like on Instagram too. Yeah. But, okay. you know. Um, I need to get familiar with TikTok though. I, the only thing I know about TikTok is just posting. I don't really know nothing <laughs> else about TikTok. <laughs> A lot, it's a bit much, but it is a lot of people on TikTok. I will say that. Yeah, I will say that. I'm definitely trying to, you know, trying to get into more TikTok and get invested on it because I really, I'm investing more on Instagram because that's where I, my, my biggest followers are anyway. Yeah. So from Africa, everybody in Europe to follow me. Instagram, in Instagram. is definitely where it's at. Are you on yeah. Facebook? Yeah, I'm on Facebook too. I don't even use Facebook that much. Mm-hmm. But I'm on Facebook, yeah. What about YouTube? YouTube, of course. That's okay. where my music videos That's are. That's where everything is. I That's got where you. my music videos are. Y'all like hear that? All platforms. Ma- mainly, like, most of all platforms. Yeah, man, mainly all the biggest platforms. That's where I'm. Just TikTok. I haven't really got... You haven't got there yet. Yeah. <laughs> if I can get somebody to help me out with my TikTok and stuff <laughs> like that, that would be dope. For sure. That would be dope. Just promote my stuff in there. Just let the people, you know, vibe to it go make it a challenge and then you just go crazy yeah so last question for you can you name five fun facts about yourself Ooh. something that we don't know and something that something we wouldn't that even think know. <laughs> to know or I like I like um Beside music, just any, like here. anything about you. It's not it doesn't have anything to do with music. But I love performing, 
be in the studio. We know that. Yeah. You gotta name something that is like exclusive. Like it can do it can have something to do with food or movies or anything like like what's your balling. Huh? Balling. Balling? Yeah. I like balling. What's that? Balling? Not a ball. Is it a movie? No. What do you say? You're not a ball. Huh? Play balling. Oh, basketball? No, balling. You know how to play balling? <laughs> no. Uh, balling? Yeah. What do you say? Play balling. <laughs> yeah, you know how to play ball? Yeah, balling. Oh, balling. <laughs> yeah. You were balling. I, I was saying balling. I'm like, huh? Basketball? Yeah. Are you nah, balling? No, nah, like, I can't play basketball. Balling. I'm a soccer player. I'm a soccer player. I'm a, I play soccer. Soccer. Okay. Yeah. So you say you like bowling. Yeah, bowling. Oh, okay. Yeah, is it okay. Bowling? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I like bowling. I play bowling. Bowling is super fun. Yeah. Okay, uh, what else movies. do you like? Movies. I like movies. Traveling. Of course. Traveling, traveling. of course. That's why I be everywhere. You know, you okay. see me in Dubai. See me Africa. I just don't like long, like, plane rides. I mean, I Like, don't. I can do, like, a good two hours, maybe. But when we're going past that, I'm, I'm pushing I it. Mean, like, I mean, I don't, I don't mind because I, I came from a long way. From, from yeah. Africa to here is, like, what? It's, like, 16 hours oh, in the plane. So you, you sleep at least? I would have to take, course. like, a melatonin you, I mean, or something, you should, like... That, I would need to be sleep the whole time. I mean, you, you spend it almost the whole whole day in the plane. Yeah. You sleep and you wake up, you're still in the plane. That's the <laughs> long ass flight. I need to sleep for a good like 10 hours of the flight that's, at least. That's a long flight. Like, going to Africa is the, that's the longest flight ever you oh can see. You're going to wake up. You, sleep, you live in the plane basically for like for one day at least. I would love to go to Africa though. Yeah. Like, how does it look where you're from? Like, how does it? Oh, uh, Africa is amazing, man. It's not like they be showing. I mean, the, the way they be showing Africa, I don't like that. The way they be showing Africa, oh. they be hiding the good part and they showing <laughs> the bad part. That's Sometimes the they show the good stuff. Though. That's the thing that I don't like, and that's the same thing about America, though. But we look at America. That's how they show us. They show us the gang banging. Oh. They show us the weed. <laughs> they, you think you can smoke That's weed true. anywhere. They think you can walk around with a gun everywhere, oh, anywhere God. you go. I mean, you can if you have a license for it. If you don't, or you, you cannot. Or you go somewhere where weed is legal. Y- yeah. But it's just show us the part that, you know, you can gang banging, oh, people no. going to jail. Absolutely That's not. the part that they show us in Africa. You know what I'm saying? Like when you, That's like old, though. Because I got people in Africa that ask me, like, Oh, so you walk around with a gun too? You got gun on you got gun on you? I'm like, I mean, I got a gun at home, but I don't walk around with a gun no. like that, just showing the people. No. No, I don't do that. But that's the part that they show us. That's the same thing that a lot of people come to me like, ah, yeah, I don't have people come to me like, you live with the lion? I'm like, are you are you serious, bro? <laughs> do you live with lions? Do you live with lions? Are you serious? <laughs> Like who yeah, can live, live with the lion? lion. Yeah, like, I've... is it? Do you have? <laughs> like, do you have a common sense, bro? How you can you ask me something say it like that? Cause the thing that they show, they show, they show the, the, the the wildlife part of it. They yes. show kids walking around with no shoes. No shoes. That, like, that's why they yeah. think Africans based. Yeah. But they don't show the good part of Africa. They don't show the good building. They don't right. show the nice places in Africa. Exactly. They don't show that. I've seen that. That makes me want to go. Like that. Looks... That's the thing. Yeah. So that's the thing about we. We see when we see America too. Yeah. So uh, I mean, it's a beautiful place in Africa. As you go, like beautiful, amazing Y'all place. Y'all have some really food. nice stuff over there. Definitely. When I go back home, I eat good. I can imagine. That, that's the thing I love I going imagine. back home. The food, <laughs> you just relax. <laughs> You eat that natural food. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Grown food. That's what we need, so honestly. Everything right. here is processed. It's, I'm telling you, everything, us, is, so. is, everything here is like it's sitting in the freezer for, they're definitely trying to take for us a out. month, for two yeah. months. And then they sell, it, they sell it to you. Eat. <laughs> so I like that fresh African fresh, food. Fresh, fresh grown yeah. vegetables and fruits. And Hell yeah. That's, that's, that's the part that I love when going back home. I'd be like, like, bring me that Y'all have all the good, like, stuff, too. Like, shea butter and all, like, the natural, like... I'm telling you, God is just... He don't give everything to one place. He's separate. America have the good life, but the food... 
I don't like the food, yeah. but you I like just eat food? to eat. No. Have you tried any African restaurants? Here? Of course. Uh, did you? Of course. Find I, any that you like? Yeah, of course. Most. It must be like gen- like authentic Africans of course, in the it kitchen. Is. Though. Yeah, okay. it is. When you go to an African restaurant, you really eat that African food. It'd be expensive though. It'd be expensive you, because you um, know. So do all Africans like usually like just eat with their hands? They don't use like utensils. Not really. I like I Michael see, Blackson. I've seen it with my own eyes. You see it with Michael Blackson. <laughs> be showing y'all. I don't eat like that. Michael Blackson don't be eating. He be showing that. It, How do you feel about Michael Blackson? I mean, he, he, he be the way he be eating and representing. Nah, we don't eat like that. Okay. I don't eat like Michael Bryce. So I eat with the you fork. You use the fork and a spoon. Yes, I, I use fork and a spoon. I don't so eat he's like just that. Like overdoing it, like he's he overdo. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, he be trolling. <laughs> I don't know if he does it like cause he really do that, but no, nah, we don't we don't eat like that. Yeah. Michael Black said you gotta stop that shit, man. <laughs> you gotta stop that shit, man. All right, so is there anything else you wanna add this before we wrap this up? I mean, I was just wanna let y'all know, man. I'm about to drop my EP on everybody to go and stream that EP. Yes, next Tiger week. to the top. On the about to go crazy. The music video to the top going crazy on YouTube. Go watch that video. And come outside, video just drop the whole What's lot. What's the name of the song that I was in? The one that you was in was the name of the song. That was a pastor. It's a story of the pastor. It's that, called the pastor. Yeah, okay. it's called the pastor. So that one is like a story, though. Yeah, that was a storyteller. Yeah, that song is basically just telling a story about a pastor that was a pastor, a good pastor, mm-hmm. and then end up hanging out with the boys, the boy in the corner. Oh. Corner store boy, and then like get caught up stuff. with the bad stuff, mm-hmm. and they end up turning up to a drug dealer. Mm-hmm. So he went from normally there's a lot of story that you see is somebody who was a drug dealer, and then transit uh, tra- do the transform and went go to good boy, right. and then be a pastor type person. But this song is now is like you coming from being pastor to a drug dealer. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you bring that drugs wow. inside the church. They see you getting money, but people are like, where you getting that money from? <laughs> and you're like, no, I'm just a pastor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just that the title money oh, that it making me, but on the low, you're really dealing with the street board. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah, I'm actually so. excited to see it. Y'all going to see me in a little teeny little club. Yeah, you're going to be on there. Just being cute. You know yeah, how being nice. That's um, actually the part that the pastor started balling. Oh, he started balling. He started like balling. He, he got like, a pretty girl. Yeah. He got that. That's when he got the money. He, the he got. The, he now. made it. He got yeah. the money. He got the plug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He dealing with the big plug. Yeah. So that's when he started balling okay. and poppy champagne. Uh-huh. Looking good, driving <laughs> nice car yeah that's the part that you came okay. in hanging out with the pretty girls yeah that's yeah. that's the part so okay i'm excited to see it um again make sure y'all go check out his ep it's coming out next week on Definitely. the 25th top. and to where the can top. they follow you you can follow me on everywhere, man. Just Google me, Tiger B M T. You can Google me. Google, Google knows me. Google, Google knows my name. <laughs> you type in Tiger B M T, you gonna find me. Period. Find me on Instagram, Don't YouTube, Facebook, uh, I, Spotify. Okay. I'm all over. I actually was on the magazine in South Africa. Oh. Yeah. Not you the magazine go- cover. Yeah, the magazine yes. cover. South African magazine. They put me Don't on. Don't play with him. Don't play. They put me on. <laughs> and I got my song playing over there in the radio. Oh. My song okay. is international. Every time I drop my song, be playing on the radios, internationals. That's so dope. Yeah, so I got my song. I come outside. It's playing out there. Come outside. Yep. So y'all can check me out. I'm, 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 I'm everywhere, man. You know, All right. I'll be in the street. I'll be outside because I'm yeah. really outside. Well, this has been amazing. This has been fun. Call Thank me you. anytime you need me to do this. Thank you, you know, for this having is what me. I like to you know be. what I'm saying? Um, but y'all can follow me at Simone Jones, S I M O A N E J O N E S. Um, and I'm happy to have met you and, Thank you know, you. we're friends and everything. Appreciate that. So Appreciate that. I'm you excited did your to thing. see where you go. Definitely. You're going to yeah. see everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're going to see all the movement. So, appreciate right. y'all. Get comfortable. We out here. We out chill. Too soon. Peace out. Appreciate y'all. It's a wrap, y'all. <laughs> Yo. <laughs>